So my name's Joe. I'm a senior musculoskeletal physiotherapist here at Imperial College Healthcare. We're here in the physiotherapy gym where I'm going to be talking to you a bit about osteoarthritis. My role as a physio includes trying to help rehab people who have had different surgeries, injuries and often who are trying to manage osteoarthritis. So, how do we treat arthritis? Well, unfortunately, arthritis is not a curable disease. However, that doesn't mean that we can go and live a full, active and meaningful life whilst dealing with a condition. Fortunately, there are lots of different treatments and things you can do to try and help improve your symptoms. Keeping an active, healthy lifestyle is one of the best things you can do to deal with arthritis. Keeping moving, trying to exercise as much as you can, trying to build some of the strength in your muscles can all help deal with some of the symptoms. Often it is thought that exercise or activity is bad for arthritis and can worsen your symptoms, whereas this isn't always true. We know from research and evidence that moving the joint and keeping you exercising is actually one of the best things you can do. If you are someone who's overweight or even obese, trying to lose weight can be really important to manage your symptoms. Ideally, you should do a mixture of exercise to try and help manage your symptoms as best as possible. This may look like walking, swimming or cycling, but ideally it's going to be the exercise that you most enjoy. Sometimes, if you tried all of these things and you're still struggling with your symptoms, a GP may suggest that you take some painkillers or potentially to come and see a physio like me to help set you up with an exercise plan. The painkillers your GP may suggest you take don't necessarily have to be really strong. Sometimes simple paracetamol or other over-the-counter medication can work really well. Alternatively, you can get good pain relief using modalities such as ice or heat. Sometimes, if your symptoms are really bad, a GP may suggest you have an injection or use specific creams to try and help manage the symptoms. Lastly, if you tried all of the other treatments such as exercise, weight management and basic pain medication, it may mean you need to have a discussion with a surgeon about a potential replacement. However, ideally, we want to delay having a joint replacement as they only have a certain lifespan. These decisions are something that you can discuss with your GP or a potential surgeon. So, can arthritis be prevented? Unfortunately, we know we can't prevent the condition, but there are things we can do to try and help reduce the likelihood of you getting arthritis. The first line of defence against arthritis is trying to maintain a healthy and active lifestyle. The national guidelines ask us to try and complete 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous exercise or activity each week. However, this doesn't need to be in the form of really strenuous training. It can be walking or swimming or cycling, but ideally it's going to be the exercise that you enjoy the most. Unfortunately, however, a short walk to the shops may not quite be enough to count as structured exercise. Ideally, we'll be doing some exercise that increases our heart rate and tries to get our lungs working a bit harder. However, don't be overwhelmed when someone asks you to try and do 150 minutes of exercise each week. You can build up to this over time. Anything is better than nothing and getting yourself started will lead you on the right path to try and manage your symptoms. Although you might not be able to do a 45 minute walk right now, if you can start with five or 10 minutes of walking and build yourself up over the coming weeks and months, that will make a big impact in your symptoms overall. Often, we might recommend activities such as swimming or cycling, as this helps to reduce the strain going through some of the weight-bearing joints in our body, such as our knees and hips. Often, this can be a really good way to increase our overall exercise and activity each week without flaring some of the symptoms of arthritis. So, we know that arthritis is not a reversible condition, but that doesn't mean you can't live a really full, healthy and meaningful life whilst dealing with some of the symptoms. Importantly, you don't have to go through this alone. You can get in contact with a healthcare professional who can guide you along the right path. Otherwise, because this is such a common condition, there are many different groups of people who are there to support you and share their stories. Staying active, trying to complete strengthening exercise at least twice a week, trying to eat healthily, lose weight if you need to, 
taking pain medication if your doctor has asked you to, and overall, trying not to worry about your symptoms can create a very good package for you to manage arthritis altogether. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you.